Hello and welcome to another MailRite workshop. I'm Adam Brown, co-founder, and I'm here with the one and only Jonathan, Jonathan Dunwood. Yeah. yeah. He's the founder and kind of the brains behind all this. So we are a good kind of yin yang and complement each other with the well, knowledge. You do, and you do the video, right? you do the video <laughs> and you do the Facebook efforts don't you and i do yeah the, i do the website and the wordpress stuff now so that's what's so great is we kind of like chisel each other right yeah <laughs> well today we are going to talk about personal branding tips for realtors in 2023 which means we only have a little bit of time left so we kind of have to get on this um as far as you being a realtor and taking advantage of what remains of the year so give us a little intro about this one jonathan well, it's about um, personal branding. Um, I think obviously you're there to get leads, but I think if you get your, you got to stick out from the crowd, basically. That, that, yeah. So get it really simple about it, folks. Yeah. You that's just got, you just got to be, uh, and through your branding strategy and your personal branding, you um, can position yourself so you stick out from the crowd. And yeah. by going through the the kind of four or five things that we're going to go through in this video, you'll have a clear plan of action and know where you got to go to get this right. Because if you get this right, it's going to get really a lot easier to get the type of customers and leads that you're looking for. Yeah. And, you know, we've done a ton of videos. If you want to check those out at mail-right.com or our YouTube channel and um, talking about being the digital mayor and stuff, I'm sure that's going to sneak in here a little bit, too. But you really are looking to stand out, be authentic, not trying to be someone you're not. And we're going to give you some other tips and effective strategies in this. So, all right, let's jump into this and look at... How about your individual value proposition? Yeah, you know, that's a bit linked to what Adam's just touched on. Look, this is how I would do it. And obviously, and if I was in your shoes, this is how I would approach it, folks. It does depend on where you are in your career. Obviously, if you're in your first, second, third, fourth year, um, this is what I would do. If you're very mm -hmm. established, you can go fully in the other way. I would have your own website and Absolutely. I would brand it. I I think you, I, so it's finding um, doing a survey about your history. Let's say you, you've been in the armed forces. Um, well, if you might be somebody, other people in the armed forces might be um, you gel with those type of people, those type of customers. Um, so it really, your personal branding has to fit in and be authentic to some degree. I think the days of having the, the kind of veneer look of every real estate agent having a suit, um, having the very posy photographs. Having, the photo from 1980. Yeah, you know, <laughs> um, that, you know, kind of semi glamour. I think you've got to look professional. Mm -hmm. um but it's got to be more authentic so um i think that's the thing write down your background having a good bio on your website and have that bio not about yourself in a way but about why your background your experiences um why those experiences and background really could help the target audience, the, the clientele that you're trying to attract. Yeah, that's really good. And so um, one of the other things we wanted to differentiate is, is the difference between like your personal brand and the brokerage brand. Yeah. And like, it's, it's always interesting because as we onboard realtors um, with MailRite, we notice that a lot of times they're not even sure where the brand guide is. They don't know what the, you know, primary and secondary colors are. They might be able to get you the logos, 
but they're maybe not the right format. And there's just a lot of things that go into the branding, but there's also a difference between your personal realtor brand and the brokerage, right, Jonathan? Well, this is why it's a good idea to have your own website. You know, the, mm-hmm. probably the brokerage can insist that you um, you Use probably theirs. got a marketing pack, a digital marketing package that you have Hopefully. to pay. That you, <laughs> no, what I meant is you, you're going to have a package that you comes from the brokerage, and you're, you've got to pay for it. It's going to be mm-hmm. part of your monthly dues to your brokerage. Um, you might get uh, a template website or you might just get a about page on the brokerage website, which is fine because, you know, you are in business with your brokerage. <laughs> right? It's but fine, you, but it's not optimal, right? And I know well, you no, know it's, that. It is what it is, you know, yeah, it yeah. is what it is. But um, you've got to have your own branding. You got, you know, mm-hmm. you're not work. You're not an employee unless it's Redfin. You're not an employee. You're a subcontractor. You're running your yeah. own business. So you've got to have your own identity, which should be about you. Yep. Yep. You know, and obviously keep it within the regulations for your state and area and yeah. your MLS and all that as well. So, okay, that's good. Quick little break, and we just are so thankful to have you joining us and learning all this stuff that we have for free. We would love to get a thumbs up, so give this video a like, share it. Let's hear your comments. Give us some interaction on this, as well as ideas and things that you want to hear us share more about. And then don't forget to pound that bell and subscribe so you get notified when our new free video workshops come out. So thanks again. All right, so let's jump in to the next one, which is, I'm gonna say this wrong just because it rhymes better, but the riches are in the niches, but the riches are in the niches. Yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> go over the top there. Uh, All right, go um, for it. Yeah, it's just that, you know, we've, we've hammered away about that. Um, is, you know, this is about, and it's also linked to the first point. Mm-hmm. If you got a clear, about who you are, your experience, um, and then you, your couple of years in, you got some about the type of clients, the type of business you like working for, with. Um, I think the quicker, um, and that's why I think having two websites. If you've got your own branded website about you when you've identified your niche, you can steer your own website in the niche, but with the bro and you've got your brokerage affiliation and you can still do general. um, So if you're, you're trying to move your clientele. So it, it, it's around your niche, but that's going to take time. Mm -hmm. So, but that's why separating you, what is on the brokerage website digitally and what's on your branding it, having your own website gives you that opportunity and i watched a video um it's a great video um about branding um and it was an interview and the um the realtor was um, moved to colorado and didn't know anybody and they were working for a brokerage but they had a history with horses and mm. um, from childhood and had an infinity to people that loved horses because they loved horses. And they've, they're have they also very astute. Um, they've got their own, a really nice website. Um, and it's all about horse, horse ranches in Colorado. Yeah. And they've managed to build a niche in... Yeah um horse ranches that's perfect wasn't it i'm not saying it was easy folks but you i I think have knowing the type of person and promoting your difference and then finding a niche is going to be a lot lot easier to stand out from the herd (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) i like it pun intended right Yeah. And you know what? It gives you a focus. Like, of course, everyone wants to sell the million dollar houses. But if you're just getting into it, you kind of have to, like, get a resume under your belt with the experience in in sales and things that you can kind of use to prove that you're worthy and have earned 
their trust to take care of them and their million dollar houses, right? So yeah. that's great. So find your niche or niche, depending. Um, all right, and then the next thing would be is writing out a basic brand strategy. So explain that a little bit more. Well, it's just, it's a bit like point one, you know, write out um, what your background is, the key things that differentialize yourself from the herd. herd mm -hmm. And then um, also your niche. So everything wants to be consistent. Everything wants the wording on the website. Everything is about why the niche why are you the person that can help yeah. that particular niche in their problems and you should be able to write down four or five things this doesn't have to be that difficult folks we we're talking about a one page write out and it mm -hmm. can be just bullet points but if it's going to be better that you write out about your background and your experience and why your experience and background helps with you with the niche that you're targeting and write down four or five of the main things that your niche is concerned about and yeah. then be consistently talking about those four or five things and about how your background can serve that particular niche it's making sense now yeah absolutely and it's, that's all part of, I mean, all this is kind of blending together because, you know, you are the brand, even though you work for a brokerage, right? But um, writing that out helps a lot. You're kind of getting everything that's in here. Yeah. But all it, has to, all it has to be is one or two pages. It doesn't want to be yeah. any longer than that. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it simple, right? Not stupid, but keep it simple. <laughs> All right. And then one of the last things is be consistent. This is maybe the most important, right? Because you can have all this stuff and all these things written down and you've made the check marks on everything. But then if you're only doing something like once every six months, like you're only going to get out of it what you're putting into it, right? Yeah, well, that but that's one of the reasons why you should write it down on one or two mm -hmm. pages. And then look at, you know, everything you're producing on social media, on, you know, any stuff you're putting on the website, yeah. anything you're putting out there digitally, it should match up with what you've written down. And that's the point of writing it down so you don't go off message because it's really easy to go off, go off on a tangent. We've yeah, all done yeah. it. Um, but writing it down and just keep hammering it away on all your digital channels, which we can help with. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, you know, what we're about, folks, is providing a really nice website. And then mm -hmm. we deal with Facebook paid advertising and um, Google local adverts. That's what we are about. Um, yep. and we want to bring you leads, grow the business, yeah. right? But, you know, also do help you with this stuff around branding. So, because through paid traffic, we can get people and we can help you convert them and have a conversation with them. But it's also about the branding when they hit the website. It, so you build up that presence in your local area. Yeah, we kind of takes a lot of the headaches and hassle out of creating some of the branding and put this onto website and, you know, online, social, digital media. And um, yeah, so it helps a lot. So be consistent just to kind of reinforce that one more time. And um, all right, any any conclusions? I know we've got uh, some really good tools that can help out too, like we mentioned. So you want to share a little bit more about those? Well, we, we like we provide um, text messaging, email with our Facebook campaigns, um, so we can um, we've got a library of messages we can help you set up. Um, so when a client goes to a landing page, which we provide. Mm -hmm. um, a series of email and text messages. We can help you with a monthly newsletter. And we've got a social library that can help you generate the amount of content. So when people go to your social yeah. media, they don't see the like the last post was like two months ago. Yeah. Because, um, um, and also we've got a great um, platform for helping you generate reviews because that's a really good area that a lot of agents fall on. Huge. Um, so we've got a really nice package plus IDX and we've got a really easy to use CRM. So um, mm -hmm. 
we're one of the most cost effective solutions out there um, but it's focused it's not one of these broad swiss army knife solutions we've got a real focus on paid advertisement mm -hmm. landing pages and that leading to leads so yeah and you know we're not talking about like just putting 10 bucks towards boosting a post that's kind of a, a crappy post where we're diving deep into this to generate leads and and bring names emails phone numbers so that they can go to your website which we create you know we work with you on that and the branding and everything and that's where all that consistency and things kind of get all wrapped together and start to really grow your business like it's it's practical it's real um, the plans are, are affordable and there's different plans you can choose from and it's as customizable pretty much as, as much as you would need it to be. So check that out, mail-right.com and Jonathan and I would love to give you a free demo of that. You can just go to our website and um, click on, you know, to chat or contact us and we can get that set up and share more. But anything else? No, that's it. Yep, so there's some personal branding tips for 2023 and probably going into 2024. Who knows what it's gonna look like, right? We pray that it actually improves, but we will see. So until next time, thanks for joining us, giving us a like and sharing, commenting, and also smashing that notification bell so you get all our new free video workshops sent to you. Take care. Thank you.